Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our Math Dog Telling Time game. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games and fun games to play as well as teaching tools to use, and there's never any membership or sign-up required. Okay, this is the game. Uh, this is the menu you'll see when you start up the game. We have quite a few other versions out there. Uh, we have an elapsed time version. We have some roundings games, uh, versions of this game, as well as integers. Uh, integer version with positive and negative numbers, some comparison game uh, versions, as well as regular addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. You'll find this game by going to Math Nook and looking for the Math Dog series button, which will show you all the versions we have, including this one. Or you can go to the Telling Time or Time section in our website and find this game. When you start the game, you're going to see the more games button. If you click that button, it'll take you to www.mathnook.com. And you click this button, it'll take you to the page containing the video you're watching now. This button here turns this music off and on. So if you leave it like that, the music's off. Leave it like that, it's on. Same thing with this one. This controls the sound effects, which is different than the music. So if you wanted just the sound effects to play, you would leave it like that. If you wanted no sound at all, you would leave both these like this with the X is showing. Okay, when you want it, when you still want to start playing the game, go ahead and click the play button or tap it, and uh, you'll be given these three buttons: beginner, advanced, and expert. And the only difference is the big beginner version has fewer choices to make than the advanced and uh, than the expert has, so it makes it a little bit easier to find the correct clock. Okay, let's go ahead and click beginner. And now, to customize it, depending on what kind of, uh, if you're using this on a mobile device and say the display is small or you just want and can't see the hands too well if they're black, or you just want to have a little different color variation, you can click this button and cycle through the different color choices you can have. Let's do go ahead and do red and green. And here you choose the clocks. Uh, if you want to increment them in one hour, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes, and finally one minute. I'm going to go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do 30 minutes on there increment so you can see that. And go ahead and click next. And now you choose if you want to play the normal version, which is untimed, or the time attack version, which is timed. And we'll look at both of those. If you want to go back and change any of the options you've chosen, just click back and that will take you to the main menu where you can go through the play and choose what, what uh, level you want to play and the colors and what time increments that we just went through. So that's how you would do that if you did, had decided you wanted to change something up. But let's go ahead and play the untimed version. First time in, it's going to say, uh, it's going to show the correct answer, but it's, the question is, which clock is showing 1030? And that is the clock. It says choose the correct answer. You would tap or click this one that the little hand is showing. Now, if you noticed, just started the game, so I've answered zero correct answers in a row, and the record zero. If I click this one, I've made a correct answer. So I've, you notice that it shows so far I've done one in a row, and the record this session is one. And as you quit the game and get out and come back in, all these numbers will be reset. It's just for the time you have the game running uh, that this record is kept. Okay, which, which clock is showing 430? And we've got that one there. And you notice the hands are the colors we chose. The, minute, the hour hand is red and the minute hand is green. Okay, so which clock is showing 7 o'clock? I'm going to go ahead and choose the one that's showing uh, 5.30. And it comes back and it says the correct clock, 7 o'clock, and the one I chose was 5.30. At that time, it, well, I guess at this time you can choose replay to go ahead and replay it again. And we can do that. And you notice I've done, uh, since I've restarted, I have zero in a row, correct, but the record is two. And let's go ahead and, and bump that up a little bit, 2.30, 2 o'clock. And then notice record's two there. And now I've done three in a row, and the record's three. And when you want to get out, you just make a uh, error, and it will take you, show you what the error was, and you go to the menu. And I'm going to do that so we can see the... Time version, let's go ahead and choose blue and red, and increment 15 minutes, and 
go to next and time attack now you notice the bar here going down getting smaller and smaller once it reaches down here time will be up so it says which clock is showing 245 and it's this one here so let's go ahead and click that you notice it's reset because this is a different version this is a little bit harder to play so you have a different record than the uh, untimed version 545 would be this clock and make an error it's going to be just like before it'll show you the correct clock and the clock you chose let's go ahead and show what i'm going to want to show what happens when you run out of time and when it gets down around here you're going to see this guy move which letting you know that you're almost out of time and when it reaches zero it tells you you're out of time and you can replay or go to the main menu okay well that's how you play i uh, hope you have fun playing this game i hope, hope the video helps some and thanks for watching